sacrifice, its economic life revolved around farming. The great genius of the Aztecs was that instead of taking water to farmland, they created farmland in the water. The lake water was shallow, so the Aztecs set about creating a canal system and piling up the silt from the channels in raised fields on either side. They planted trees along the edges of the canals and the root systems bound in the soil to hold up the banks. Here in their water gardens, they grew plants like aguacatl, avocados, tomatatl, tomatoes, and chocolatl, chocolate, along with the many fruits the city required. But the staple crop for Aztec civilization was corn. Corn meant nourishment and fertility. It was considered to be the flesh of the gods, like bread for the Christians. When the Aztecs describe Chicomecoatl, who is the corn goddess, they say Chicomecoatl is the corn. She is our flesh, our sustenance. We eat her. She is represented as a woman. The Aztec gods were the spiritual essences of everything that existed. So the corn, the water, um, the earth, the rocks, the flowers had their own supernatural essences, which then are articulated as deities. So the farmer literally eats the gods when he eats food. The Aztecs built an aggressive and imperial culture, but they were also great lovers of beauty. In poetry and song, they celebrated the sensuous beauty of their environment. They loved bright colors, and for them, flowers symbolized both the beauty and transience of life. They compared them to the hearts of warriors. Death on the battlefield was a flowery death, a noble way to die. The other honorable death was on the sacrificial stone. <laughs> 